Hiya, Angus the Singing Driving Instructor here again. Real quick video um, talking about timing of gear changes. So you've no doubt um, had, uh, had your first couple of lessons and we've been um, uh, doing gear changes along straight road. So this is just to, re to reiterate what we've been working on. In other words, timing of the gear change and trying to do the gear change at 20 on the rev counter. Okay, so um, it is appropriate sometimes to do a gear change slightly before 20 on the rev counter and you will be doing gear changes later than 20 on the rev counter but just for the initial purposes of getting a repetitive nice smooth gear change that reflects what you would be doing if you were driving around in a town for example then 20 on the rev counter um, reflects that nicely so that's what we're uh, that's what we're going to do so I'm going to start the engine up and I will demonstrate that for you. So I'm just going to move off. Oh, incidentally, the camera, by the way, <laughs> I'm not doing anything naughty. It's uh, it is attached to uh, just behind the um, behind the steering wheel. I'm just going to have to pause a second though because there's a car coming towards me, and I'm on a single, uh, well, a very narrow road. So that was uh, a bit annoying. But anyway, I shall just edit this bit out. Okay, so now we can get going. Now they've gone. Okay, so moving off. And you'll notice the road speed is increasing slightly. So the dial on the right, the speedo. And as I get to 20 on the rev counter, I do my gear change to second. So the road speed continues to increase, but the revs dropped as I did the gear change as I brought the clutch back up. So it gets to 20 again. I'm going from second up to third. The revs drop, but the road speed is continuing. So the engine speed dropped, but the road speed is continuing. So as I get to the 20 on the rev counter again, I'm going third to fourth, so the engine speed drops, so the dial on the left dropped down slightly, the dial on the right, the speedo is continuing to increase. Okay, we're in fourth gear at the moment, I'm gonna go up to fifth as I get to the 20. So gear change to fifth, the revs drop down slightly, and the road speed is increasing still. So now I'm gonna bring the car to a nice smooth stop, so a little bit of gentle braking, and because I'm in fifth gear, I will need to put the clutch down a little bit earlier than sort of usual, around about 20 mile an hour to avoid going into a stall. And we come to a nice, smooth stop. Okay, so that's the timing of the gear changes um, to start off with. Um, it uh, sort of reflects the driving that you would do in a normal situation. And the reason for it is just to get you, to get you used to doing a, um, a nice, appropriate gear change. Um, you can do them earlier, you can do them later, you'll certainly be doing that when we wanting to move away from junctions a little bit more sort of rapidly um, in certain situations. But 20 on the rev counter to start off with is a good place for doing them. Okay, I'll see you on your last Cheers. Romans came a few years back, built nice new roads.